Hello, I'm Dr. David Hornbrook, the Clinical Director of Education and Technology here at Keating Dental Arts in beautiful Irvine, California. As you know, we do our weekly podcast and we're having so much fun with this. If you haven't heard them in the past or this is your first experience, you can go to dentalup, all one word, dot XYZ and we have videos, podcasts, product reviews, blogs. We're having a, a lot of fun with this. You're in a special treat. This is our 11th podcast. A special treat today because I have Mr. Jack Hadley from My Social Practice and thanks for being here. Thanks for inviting me, David. You know, Jack and I have known each other for, we decided, 10 plus years. Yes. We, you know, did, we never like to admit that. That's when we were both 18, which <laughs> is nice. That's right. That's right. Um, <laughs> and when I, I called him, I said, well, i got to have you on this podcast. And he said, okay, cool. And I said, is there any way you could do it on site? Because we have so much more fun face-to-face. -face. Yeah. And I, I appreciate you made a special trip. Flew down from him. He's in Provo, Utah. Made a special trip to spend an hour with us hey, and anytime you invite me to spend an hour with you I'll, I'm on a plane well so thanks anytime I appreciate that <laughs> you look sharp you know we talked about the coat and the shirt. I feel underdressed it's like <laughs> I, didn't wear a I, I want a coat like that I'll take <laughs> off my tie for it maybe we should just switch halfway <laughs> okay, through okay um you know when we first met you were part of an organization called some media which right. did marketing and websites and stuff for a lot of dental practices mm -hmm. and and then I actually got involved with you yes. in my clinical practice with with Lava 7, a right, little right. bit. Um, and I know you work with some of the most successful dental practices. And now you're into optometry, too, I saw from your website. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of work with optometrists <clears throat> these yeah. days. Yeah, and, and the dental practice you work with, I mean, you can always tell, and you're involved yeah. with the Crown Council. Yes. And you can always say, well, you know, that person is doing well, they're doing the right things, they must be using Jack, which you, you, your new is my social practice. And right. You can go to mysocialpractice.com. That's correct. Yeah, which I did this morning. I had a while back, and I kind of put it off, and then yeah. I did this morning when I had a little break before we met. That's an incredible site. Oh, thanks. Beautiful. Well, it should be because that's what you do for a living, <laughs> yeah, right? Have fun with it. Um, but the blogs are so well done, and the video, and, and you know, he speaks internationally. Um, and you know, this whole social media and the marketing has changed so much. Yes, you know, five yes. years ago. It, you know, especially dentists my age, you know, they'd say, why would someone follow me on Facebook? Isn't that to like, isn't that to, you know, ask someone if you should buy a watermelon or a cantaloupe, you know, and in the grocery store, yeah, and it's kind of stupid for teenagers. Yeah. And today, the dentists are saying, how can I utilize these more efficiently, and how can I make sure that people follow me on Facebook? So yes. let's talk a little bit about that trend and, and why you think that occurred. Yeah, I think that, uh, as you mentioned, when we started my social practice uh, five or six years ago, I think that was, every time I had an opportunity to speak, that was the main thing I had to talk about, was just overcoming the perception that social media is a waste of time, how, how could a dental practice, come on, how could a dental practice ever use social media? And there were very few people that were using social media. If I were in a room with 100 doctors and asked how many of you had a Facebook page, maybe 10%. Or it was personal only. Or personal, they didn't yeah. know the difference between yeah. personal and, and business pages. But today, um, you know, I'm guessing that uh, 75, 80 percent of practices have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. They may not be super effective using it yet, but uh, the vast majority are using social media in some way. And I think it's interesting your your perception about what the questions are today, because uh, I think that's exactly what what practices and and the doctors are asking today. Is we're we're in social media now. We see the value, but how do we how do we become effective? What mm -hmm. do we do? to actually use social media to grow our business, to get new patients. And those are the questions they're asking today. Yeah, and, and we're going to talk a lot about that today because, you know, I, and I have a very active Facebook page. You'd probably look at it and say yes. you're not doing the job. Um, but, <laughs> no. you know, I think it's hard for a lot of dentists because they, they want to take control or yeah. they have their dental assistant who has their personal party Facebook, what I call mm -hmm. And they say, oh, can you write some stuff? Can you write some stuff? And yeah. you know, they have a birthday party picture, and three months later they have, you know, they did a smile design on someone. And, yeah. you know, you really need that, if not daily, weekly. You need some interaction, whether it be yeah. a, a blog or an article or whatever. Yeah, I think the, the, the concept of, <clears throat> of consistency is probably one of the top three concepts for, for really being effective. And what typically happens is the doctor will assign someone to be the point person in the practice, the, the social media cheerleader, and uh, that person will have some great ideas for the first <laughs> week, <laughs> and then they run out of d ideas. And because their time is so limited, um, they'll sit down, they have 10 minutes to spare, and won't, won't know what to, po what to publish, what to post. So I think consistency, I think knowing what kinds of content are best and which ones work the best and get the most likes, comments, and shares on social media is important. Um, and, and also participation 
is really a big thing that practices really have to grasp. It's, it's been easy in the past for practices to, to write a check to the Yellow Pages, write a check to the right. billboard, <clears throat> check to the direct mail guys, and then kind of forget about marketing. Right. But uh, social media requires some participation to really right. be effective. And I think the average dentist says, you know, I don't have time to write something. That's and right. that's something you provide. Yeah, that's kind of, <laughs> that was sort of the, the impetus for starting my social practice, was to not do it for practices, but to really provide the content they need on a daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly basis to make them effective in, in just a very few minutes.